Another piece of the decades long puzzle of Interstate 69 is complete. Hoosiers can now drive the 27 mile section 4 of I-69 between NSA Crane and Bloomington. But as Alexander McCall reports, the project took more than three years to finish and there are still two more sections of the controversial highway left to be completed. This is just a day. This is a great, great day in Indiana. The sun is shining. The Westgate Academy Conference and Training Center was buzzing with excitement Wednesday as regional and state officials gathered to celebrate the completion of another part of a decades long project linking Evansville to Indianapolis with Interstate 69. As Indiana Department of Transportation Commissioner Brandy Hendrickson and Governor Mike Pence spoke with joy about the new piece of road, applause filled the room. Okay, how about let's start out on a big, big day with the grand opening ceremony of Section 4 of I-69. Let's give it up for INDOT, for Brandy, for everybody wearing the colors today. It's a project that's been discussed for more than 40 years and first broke ground during Governor Mitch Daniels' administration. The opening of Section 4 of the interstate means Hoosiers can now drive more than 90 miles of interstate from Evansville to Bloomington. Uh, one administration with strong support in the legislature, one administration found the money, another administration poured the concrete. But this is what good government looks like, men and women, and we show the way in Indiana. Governor Pence says it's about finishing what the state started. He and other state leaders, including former Lieutenant Governor Becky Skillman, cut the ribbon Wednesday on Section 4 before leading a ceremonial caravan to christen the new stretch of highway. The Indiana Department of Transportation has been working on Section 4 for more than three years, starting construction in April 2012. The 27-mile stretch was originally slated to be open by the end of 2014, but inclement weather delayed construction. INDOT originally predicted the cost of Section 4 to come in at $400 million, but the project rang up at $471 million. But Pence says the opening of the road is about more than just statistics. He says it's about economic development. I mean, if you have the right infrastructure in the right places and you take care of it uh, and you maintain it, uh, that, uh, that, that it opens up jobs and opportunity and investments. And Evansville Mayor Lloyd Winnicky echoes that sentiment. Uh, yes, it does get us to Bloomington faster and makes the trip to Indianapolis faster, but from, a more, uh, from an economic development perspective, it gives uh, businesses and industry in our city a more efficient means to transport either finished finished product or raw material, and that's a good thing. But for some, the interstate is less of a cause for celebration. Dozens of regional and state officials were present for Wednesday's ceremony, but Bloomington Mayor Mark Cruzan was absent, saying he thought it would be insincere to pretend to celebrate Section 4. Bloomington and Monroe County residents were at the center of the debate over the section's construction back in 2012, when some landowners expressed concerns about how increased traffic and noise from the interstate would affect their lives. Several environmental groups also voiced opposition to the interstate, citing concerns about the environmental impact of the road. Groups filed and lost several lawsuits against INDOT over I-69. But the protests didn't stop Section 4 from being completed, and the state is already moving ahead on the two final legs of I-69. INDOT says Section 5 of the interstate, from Bloomington to Martinsville, is on an aggressive schedule and should be completed by the end of 2016. But the route for the final piece of the puzzle, Section 6, still hasn't been decided. Transportation officials expect to wrap up an environmental impact study in the next two years, but the state still has to find funding for the section that will link Martinsville to Indianapolis, and then they'll have to build it. Really, we're working through the process to identify the, the best route and to develop the best project possible for I-69 Section 6. So that's part of the conversation that we're having right now. We're moving uh, through that process quite quickly. INDOT spokesperson Will Wingfield says they have no doubt the road will be completed. He says Governor Pence is committed to making sure the project gets finished. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Alexander McCall. INDOT is still seeking feedback on five possible routes for the final section of I-69 from Martinsville to Indianapolis. You can submit comments online or in person at the Section 6 office in Martinsville.